Have you guys ever wondered what is the best weapon spec in Shinder Life? Well, look no further. In this video, we're gonna ranking every top tier weapon spec from worst to best. In this video, you're gonna find weapon Kijitsu Q specs, weapons themselves, and fighting styles. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like sword subscribe to the video, guys. So coming to 21st place is gonna be Water Dragon Fist. Now you may be wondering why is this fighting style so low? Well, first of all, it, the M1s actually slow the important. You know, that's not that good. I mean, I'm sure you guys know the M1s, you know, slowing someone with M1s isn't really the greatest thing in the world that you know you might as you might imagine. But the actual Q spec is is pretty good for combo extending i mean they removed some end lag from it so you can't actually m1 combo extend off of it now so you know that's a pretty good buff but other than that it's not really that great there's so many different q specs in the game that could actually you know extend off the q spec the actual extra m1s actually might actually hurt you more than it helps you just because you know the perfect block system in the game and yeah overall it's a solid 21st place on this list last place by the way the coming to 20 place is going to be an old favorite savage blade now savage blade is an iframe combined with the combo center overall it's actually a really good weapon and a really good weapon spec in itself because you can't actually iframe out of attacks it's kind of its biggest strong suit you can iframe and simultaneously start your combo if they're actually close to you it's a really cool you know thing to do with weapons in this game and it's actually a really huge plus to the weapon itself now coming to 19 place is going to be jeet kune do and now this is going to be simply because air combos are not really the meta anymore just because air combos knock you so far back so air combos they used to actually be really good for combo setting but now they knock you so far back that you don't even know where they went you know what i'm saying like they get knocked behind a tree and you're like where'd they go you know but jokes aside jeet kune do is really not that great anymore but it still can't be used for combo setting hence why it's on the top tier list now coming in 18 place is going to be riser kuma blade now this is actually one of my single favorite weapons in the entire game it is really good for combo setting it's basically just a riser kuma stun that has iframes as you're dashing and actually does auto track pretty well there's not really much to say about it besides that it's kind of like riser kuma uh the second ability of it but as a weapon spec now coming in 17 place is going to be chi kunai now this is going to be a lot like um, the other weapon specs in this game that actually teleport you to the opponent and will attack them at the same time so we can brock break it ragdolls it pretty much has everything you ever want of a weapon combined with the fact that the range on it is absolutely insane but the reason why it's going to rank this low on the list is because uh the actual delay it has before it hits means you cannot use it in combos unless you somehow knock them super far in the air because they will have time to escape it if you actually use it like that but it's really good for starting combos the coming to 60 place is going to be senko kunai now this is going to be here mainly because of running reasons you could run super far away from people you know that's a pretty fun thing to do if you're a hashtag runner but runners are nerds in fact and when it comes to running in shit life i do not like running i think running is fine if you're getting like 1v4 but if you're in a 1v1 scenario and you're running then um get some help they come to 15 place is going to be the senko kunai's older brother azarashi kunai it's literally the senko kunai but it stuns them if it hits them that's a really good buff there's not much to say other than that but yeah it's a pretty good weapon the coming to 14 place is going to be bankai blade now this one's going to be a lot like senko kunai and azarashi kunai but it actually does more damage than them and also has like this little like wibbly wobbly effect where it goes in an arc so it's a lot harder to dictate where it's actually going to go at the end of its hit i think that's a huge plus because a lot of the a lot of the time a straight line is a lot easier to see than a, you know an arc and i feel like the arc may actually help you in some scenarios where you're actually trying to start the combo or combo set off of it because they did actually remove the end lag from it so you can't actually combo extend with bankai blade the company 13 place could be two bladed scythe now this one's a lot like the other weapons below on this list but actually has a super low cooldown i'm pretty sure it's like eight seconds eight seconds is extremely low for a weapon spec combined with the fact that it actually does block break huge 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 weapon for just you know one v one scenarios hey you yeah you have you remembered to hit the like button on the video yet if you haven't already go ahead and do it the company 12 place could be shindai prime blade now this one's going to be this high up on the list because if you use an auto dodge before you should die prime blade it does not put the weapon on cooldown you're gonna make sure to use the auto dodge before it though because if you use the weapon before the auto dodge it will put the auto dodge on a cooldown but this one's going to be this high up because i feel like counters are kind of the meta right now and this being on a weapon spec makes it even better plus it's super annoying to the point where like if you get this ability on them you get plenty of time to charge a chi back which is actually a huge plus when it comes to shindalite now coming to 11th place is going to be mma now this is one of the prime you know the one of the old prime combo setting things in the entire game the reason why it's going to not rank that high on the list is because long range combos are kind of the meta right now and mma actually brings you to them that's going to be the main reason why but actually is really really good for combo extending hence why it's going to be so high up on this list now coming to 10th place is of course going to be ash bone staff starting off with the top 10 on this list ash bone staff really good weapon the reason why it's going to rank this low is because i actually feel like it's not as good as it used to be for some reason i feel like it does a lot less damage than it used to do it might just be me but you know when i was using the weapon it didn't feel that great to use anymore and it kind of just seems like it's there just to poke people down and you know that would be good if there wasn't other weapons in the game that now do more damage than it but it still is a really good weapon hence why it's going to be in the top 10. the coming to ninth place is going to be the gravity art now gravity art is mainly here because of the weapon spec itself because the actual m1s that ragdoll stun you are really not the greatest thing in the world because m1s already stun 
stun you. Why do you need a ragdoll stun? I don't know. Some people may like it. I mean, I guess some people like it visually. I think it does, you know, look pretty cool. You sling and rocks at people, and that's a pretty cool thing to do. But the actual Q spec of Gravity R is where it shines. Uh, it just does tons of damage. Really, really good combo ender. Really good for just disrupting huge team fights. You can disrupt a team fight so much to the point where your entire team can just escape. They can escape out of the situation. And yes, I did just punch my microphone. The coming in eighth place is going to be the move stacking King Acrobat style. Acrobat style has kind of always been known for move stacking, but actually did get buffed for some reason to the point where you actually can use moves in the middle of Acrobat style. Insane move stacking weapon. If you're actually, you know, a move stacker, like a lot of the Dawn people out there, uh, you know, you'll love this weapon as they probably do love this weapon because it is really good at move stacking. You could stack tons of damage onto people. It's really honestly, you know, a, a huge damage burst if you actually stack the correct abilities. So do some experimentation and find out. Now coming to seventh place is going to be Toad Flame Spirit. Now you guys may be thinking to yourself, why is it this low in the list? Well, it's simply because M1 combos are not meta anymore and Toad Flame Spirit was so high up because of M1 combos, but it still is an extremely good M1 combo of fighting style you could combine it with weapons to actually get flame burn on it combined with the fact that the q spec itself is extremely good because the q spec actually can be extendable now which is a huge plus because it does tons of damage so if that's your kind of your forte the total play spirit is going to be right up your alley and i actually do use it quite a bit because um it's kind of just free damage half the time especially if you're using a weapon which you know that's always a good thing and the coming to sixth place is going to be riken blade yes riken blade is going to be this high up on the list as you guys probably expected riken blade one of the single best weapons in the entire game hence why it's in the top 10 weapon but combined with the fact that it actually does stun and place lock stun you it's a really really good weapon uh i people are you know abusing it very hard even though it's on the stun global cooldown um it's still a really really good weapon even if it's on the stun global cooldown and uh yeah people are definitely abusing this weapon and i can see why it's extremely good with that place like stun you could do so many different combos the coming to fifth place is actually going to be the kenjutsu q specs now the ones i'm talking about are going to be specifically wind shiver and thunder now shiver is actually better than thunder wind and shiver are kind of you know very similar they both block break they both stun kind of very similar q specs but these q specs are insane hence why they're going to be in the top five on this list i mean these are instantaneous abilities that can combo extend imagine all the ones i listed before that are combo extendable times that by like 15 and that's going to be these weapons these weapons are insane for combo extending combined with the fact that actually you know the stun on them is long enough to actually get a few hand signs off on an ability which is you know that it's just it's just a lot it's a lot of damage you know you could combo extend them off of any knockback in the entire game because they are instantaneous and they actually don't drain that much of your resource to actually do they also do a lot of damage as well which is actually a huge plus as well they come to fourth place are going to be an unexpected one jokai fist you guys may be thinking why is jokai fist as high up on the list well the m1 stun is actually more than normal m1 so you can actually combo better with it i've been using jokai fist recently actually you know using jokai fist with the weapon um you know is kind of the best thing to do because you still get that m1 knockback off the weapon but you also get you know just you also get the weapon itself but as it stands jokai fist the q spec really isn't that great but the actual m1s themselves are absolutely amazing because you can combo extend off of them and i cannot emphasize enough how important that is in this game now coming to third place is going to be one of the new weapons odinson breaker now you guys may be thinking oh odinson breaker has a huge startup time why is it this high up on the list um well all i'm going to say is it does 150,000 damage moded if you guys need any more explanation besides that i don't know what to tell you 150,000 damage from a weapon on a 15 second cooldown yeah that, i'm pretty sure that's all i kind of need to say when it comes to this weapon absolutely nuts in the, the, the damage department come out with the fact that you being high up on the ground means that it's it's a lot harder to hit you with abilities unless they have long ranged abilities so if you stun them and then use this weapon literally that's a combo a stun into odison breaker how exciting is that getting stunned by someone and then instantly getting melted by a single weapon spec that's very fun hashtag shooter life is fun man the coming to second place it could be hurricane fist now you guys have probably already know this because you've been seeing this weapon spec everywhere but hurricane fist first of all the m1s drag you in that is pretty good if you actually do not know how to you know do m1 combos correctly them dragging you in is a huge plus combined with the fact that the q spec itself is one of the best combo extenders in the game i wouldn't say it's as good as the q specs uh like the kajitsu q specs but the fact that it actually does have buffed m1s it has m1s that are extended and the q spec can be used for escaping situations makes it this high up on the list by the way guys what is your favorite weapon spec in the entire game is it kajitsu q specs weapons or fighting styles for two comments below we'll be checking them out now first place you guys may have expected this you guys may have not expected this but it's going to be the spear of a paul practically a sengoku second stun combined with the fact that it's on a weapon spec combined with the fact that it takes stamina instead of chi um you know the list could go on and on it does lots of damage stuns for a long period of time puts 
them high up in the air so things like typhoon will absolutely crush them combined with the fact that it's aoe so it hits multiple people at once you know <laughs> so um eventually after people start grinding a paul a lot you're going to be seeing this weapon probably literally everywhere in rpg unless they nerf it just because this weapon has huge aoe Lo super long sun time super long damage um you know it just had pretty much everything you would want out of a bloodline but it's a single weapon you know that's pretty insane if i need to explain it more than that then you guys probably just need to try out the weapon yourself anyways guys for this video you guys enjoyed this video thanks for the guys bye bye